everybody, it's Lisa from ToCreatorWebsite.com and I'm here today to talk to you about blogging. Now, blogging is something that I did a little bit um, in previous years, but I didn't blog too much. I mean, I had a blog at Blogger.com and I maybe updated it once or twice per month. But in November of 2007, I started blogging a little bit more frequently. And I noticed the more I blogged, the more traffic I started getting. So I said, hmm, maybe I need to put a little bit more focus into this blogging thing, and especially because it's so, you know, web 2.0. I mean, blogging is the thing to do now um, when it comes to, you know, the web and promoting your website and those kinds of things. So I said, hmm, maybe I need to start taking this a little bit more seriously and see if I can generate some more traffic. At the time, like I said, I was using Blogger, and while Blogger is very easy to use, um, there are a lot of things that I liked about it, I still didn't feel that it looked professional enough for what I needed. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're familiar with CSS and those kinds of things, you can, you can customize your blog to look just like your website, um, if, you, if you already have a website. And um, you can do pretty much anything you want to with your blog's design. But me, I'm not really the technical one, and I had customized some things on my blog, but I still wasn't happy with the design, and I wanted something that looked a lot more like my site to creatorwebsite.com. Well, I had heard all this noise about WordPress, and how it's you know great blogging software and since it was free I decided to go ahead and create an account now there are two ways you can you can create a WordPress blog you can either go to wordpress.com and create an account and they'll host your blog for you similar to blogger where the address to your blog is like with blogger it's like your blog dot blogspot dot com well with wordpress it's pretty much the same where it's your blog dot wordpress dot com but I wanted my blog this time to be to be located on my own server because I feel that looks a lot more professional when your blog is hosted on your own domain versus the blog hosting account so um, I went to my host and I use HostGator and I highly recommend HostGator if you want to start a WordPress blog because they have um, this program called Fantastico which basically makes it super easy for you to install WordPress all you do is log into your account you click uh, Fantastico and say install WordPress and within literally seconds the WordPress standard blog is now installed on your domain and whatever whatever folder that you want so if you want your uh, domain or your blog to sit on myblog.yourdomain.com then you would create a folder called my blog on your server and tell Fantastico to install WordPress in that folder so for example if you go to my blog mine is in a folder called blog so if you go to blog.toCreatorWebsite.com you'll see that's where my blog sits so now I've got a blog that has a design that's very similar and it looks like it's a part of my site to create a website.com that's one good thing about WordPress another good thing is WordPress has a lot of um, plugins and plugins are basically just scripts that people have written other programmers have written that can enhance your WordPress blog for example one of my favorite is the uh, WordPress sitemap plugin and if you're not familiar with sitemaps sitemaps are basically XML files yeah, I know what's XML it's just another programming language don't obsess over it but it's basically an XML file that lists all of the pages on your site or blog and it's a good thing to have whether you have a site or a blog use it for both because it tells the engines when you've updated your pages when you've added a new page and it's just a very responsible way to let the engines know about all of the content on your site well WordPress has a plugin that someone created it's free all you do is download it from uh, WordPress's site and you install the plugin on your blog and every time you make a new blog post your sitemap is instantly updated and so the engines now can retrieve your sitemap and see you know um, the last time you've added a post so they can get information about your new content and this is very important because search engines love sites or blogs that are updated frequently so every time you update your blog you definitely want Google Yahoo Live Ask all of these sites to know hey I've just updated my site come back and index it or spider it so as soon as you update your blog on WordPress 
the sitemap plugin adds the new post to your sitemap and then it's ready for the engines to retrieve and that's very important when it comes to getting search engine traffic so that's one plugin that I like but they have so many free plugins that you can add to your WordPress blog to, to make it do whatever you what you pretty much want and um, it, it's, it's a lot more robust WordPress is than, than Blogger so I'm really really glad that I made the switch so if you're looking to create a blog or you're looking to switch your blog over from Blogger to WordPress, I would highly recommend you use a web host like HostGator. Of course, you need a domain name too. You need that first. But then I would recommend using HostGator because not only can you host multiple domains at HostGator, but they make it very easy to install the uh, WordPress blog software right onto your domain. So there you have it. Now you know what you need to start your own blog. Um, if you want to see mine, it's at, it's at blog.tocreateawebsite.com and you can see my WordPress blog there. Notice that it looks very similar with the colors and sort of the design of tocreateawebsite.com. So I was pretty happy with that. It's completely customizable. Um, I can change the colors. I can uh, change the layout if I want. And um, I have the flexibility to pretty much do anything I want with it. So I'm really happy with the switch. And um, I hope you start on your blog soon. And uh, check my blog out at blog2createawebsite.com or go to websitebabble.com to chat with me in the forums. And I look forward to seeing you there. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.